Hey guys, Kevin with Lifestyle Overland here, coming to you with another outdoor navigation video featuring the Gaia GPS app. In the last video, we talked about the features and premium content available through the Gaia GPS subscription service. And quite a few of you took advantage of the huge affiliate discount we shared and scored yourself up to 50% off the regular price. Since then, we received a lot of messages asking for a more detailed how-to video for basic interface use, waypoint creation, route planning, and map downloads. So here you go. These are just some basic principles of how to operate the Gaia GPS navigation software. These few steps will give you the abilities and tools that you need to go on your next adventure. So grab your device and a hot cup of coffee while we talk about Gaia GPS navigation basics. But first, roll that beautiful intro. In this video, we'll be using the iOS version of the app, which has a few slight differences from the Android version, but for the most part, the apps are very similar. If you have any Android specific questions, please post them in the comments below. Now, let's begin with the basic map controls. So by now you've probably figured out, navigation is a simple touch and drag to move about the map and then a pinch to zoom evolution. I want to talk about what we're seeing here on this layout. So up at the top of the map, you have your compass. I personally hardly ever use that, but it's handy if you want to be able to tell exactly what your direction is at the time. Um, in the lower right of the map itself, you have your map scaling. So that gives you a quick little indicator as to how much further you need to travel for the day, for example. And then we're also going to talk about the full screen button. So if you tap the full screen button, it's gonna give you a larger view of the map here, but you can also press and hold the full screen button to allow you to adjust your map display options. So if you wanna have the left sidebar up, you can change that from here. If you're just in a planning stage and you're really not concerned about your stats for your current track, you can actually turn that off as well to just clean it up a little bit. And then um, you can even turn the compass off. So feel free to play with that and lay it out however you like. Personally, I leave map rotation off because what I find is, especially while I'm bouncing around in a vehicle, um, I have a tendency to twist as I'm changing my layout and it actually rotates the map, which can be uh, a little bit frustrating. So I tend to leave that off, but some people you know, would rather, rather turn it to the orientation that they're traveling and that's fine. If you do decide to rotate, you can return it back to its standard layout by tapping the compass in the upper right hand corner there. Okay, now that you know how to control the map and you've set up the layout to your preferences, let's move forward with selecting the map layers for your next adventure. Tap the map layers button to bring up the map sources drop down and select the edit button. We're going to start by adding our favorite layers by going through each category and clicking the green plus which will populate these layers into the main drop down. At any time, you can click the information button to get an idea of what's available in the layer. Under North America, we will add the US Topo and the US FS 2016 layer. Next, we'll add a roadmap such as the Mapbox Streets HD, then a satellite layer, and any premium layer such as the National Geographic Trails Illustrated. Next, we'll select any relevant overlays we need, such as the public land overlay and the USFS MVUMs. We're actually very stoked about the new precipitation forecast layers, which will show you rain projections for up to the next 72 hours. As you can see, there's also custom map layers which you can create, which we will address in a future video. Now that we have our favorite maps populated in our dropdown, Tap the green arrow on the layers you need to move them to the visible layer section. You'll need to have an active subscription membership to use multiple layers at the same time. You can press and hold the layer to drag it to the base map position at any time. 
The other layers now rest on top of the base and can be adjusted by sliding the slider right to left. To remove a layer from the active view, click the red X. Once your layers are set up, you're ready to start planning. We'll begin by dropping a few waypoints by selecting the Add button and then Add Waypoint. These might be campsites, points of interest, etc. Now, at this stage, you're going to be able to drag this wherever you like and hit Save. And this is going to give us the option to name it. It's going to give you a suggestion here, so if you don't have time, you just want to throw it in there really quick, you can just hit Save As Is and then create a custom icon. So there's a lot of different icons in here to choose from which is really handy just for a quick visual and hit save. Now that we have our destinations laid out, we'll drop our routing into place. To begin your routing, press and hold at your starting point. Now drop subsequent waypoints along the route that you would like to travel. As you can see, this is currently going as the crow flies. So under the lower left hand corner, you'll see a mode button and you'll switch that to either hiking, cycling, driving, or straight line. We're going to select driving. And now you'll see that it actually auto routes. And then we'll begin to lay our route into place. As you can see, it's going to snap to the most direct path possible to reach your destination. If you don't like a point, you can simply delete it and backtrack. Once you've created your desired route, click the save button. And at this point, you're going to be presented with the option to download the maps you have selected in the active layers along this route. The default option is going to be at none, but then you can choose low, medium, or high resolution. You can select or deselect different layers depending on their availability. I typically choose the medium quality level. You can see a preview of the file size at the bottom of the screen. Once you've selected the maps you'd like to download along this route, click save. A small green box with a progress meter will start spinning in the upper left hand corner of the map. You can tap on this and check the status of the download. You can also stop the download and resume the download. To view the saved files, click the Save tab in the lower left hand corner. This is also another method for viewing the status of the download, but you can also have a preview of the area itself. A second method for downloading maps is to select the Add button and click the download map selection. From here you'll be able to reconfigure an area based on the size and quality level that you desire. You'll also see blocks of previous downloads so you don't have to worry about overlaying another area that you've already received. However the Gaia software is smart enough to recognize areas that you've already downloaded and will not duplicate files which is really handy for conserving space on your device. Once you've selected the area that you want hit the save button and give that download a name as well. These maps will now be available to you while you're offline. Just a quick note, some devices do not have a GPS chip built in, so please confirm whether or not you have GPS capabilities before going off grid. The good news is that there are several external GPS receivers out there for you to link to these devices for off grid travel. So that wraps up our basics tutorial for the Guide GPS navigation app. I hope this has helped you to learn how to use the processes that you'll need to download offline data for your next adventure. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below and we'll include them in the next video. Go to www.guiagps.com forward slash lifestyle overland where you can get up to 50% off the Guide GPS subscription services. If you like this video, Hit the like button, subscribe, leave us a comment, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, and safe travels.